Argo City's gone. Millions of people. That's only the beginning. Brainiacs destabilized the planet's core. Krypton won't hold together much longer. But all your research, isn't there something you can do? That's why we're here. A spaceship? That's what you've been working on? Your uncle Jor-El discovered a planet that can sustain Kryptonians far away from Brainiac. He's built a ship just like this for your cousin Cal. But Cal, he's just a baby. Which is why you'll need to protect him. Teach him our ways. Me teach him? What about you? No. No. No, I won't leave you. Please, please don't make me. I can't come with you, but you'll never be alone. You belong to the house of El Kara, a house of hope. Never forget that. Never give up hope. Get in! In my years fighting crime, I've learned one truth. That every villain is the hero of his own story. Superman was no exception. The Joker drugged him, tricked him into killing his pregnant wife Lois, and made him trigger the bomb that nuked Metropolis. So when Superman killed the Joker, I understood why. We all did. But once that line was crossed, there was no going back. He gave himself and the Justice League a new mandate. Stop all crime before it happened, by any means necessary. But he couldn't see his good intentions were leading him down a path of tyranny and evil. That's how our greatest hero became our greatest threat. So what if Superman's pulling criminals out of Arkham? They're the worst of the worst. He's going to kill them, Damien. Sounds like justice to me. Killing people isn't justice. Superman can't see that. He's grieving. He needs time to heal. Yeah, and what if it had been Gotham? If Joker had killed me, your own son? Thought he'd say that. We're being taken to the back cave. Prepare to eject. Shot cyborg. I won't hurt you unless I have to. You're gonna have to. My friends were in Metropolis, Batman. Starfire, Beast Boy, gone. We do this, that never happens again. You're right to be angry, but it's not a blank check. And the Justice League isn't a death squad. Green. 
rethink your strategy. Gonna lock you up this time. Don't be so sure. You don't see it yet, but Superman's wrong. Your glider skills need work. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Let's go. So you won't kill, but you're fine with traumatic brain injuries. Secure the loading docks. Here to help, Bruce? Yes, to keep you and Clark from making a terrible mistake. None of us wanted this, but the Joker forced our hand. Metropolis changed the world. Now we have to change with it. Not like this. Of all people, I thought you would understand. Ready to lose your head? Don't bet on it. Tell me the truth. Where is he? Uh, cell block C. Uh, uh, you can't turn your back on him. He needs you. That's why I came. gonna do with us? Where we going? I ain't going nowhere till you tell me what's happening. Get back in line.
two minutes. You're better than this, Clark. These inmates are irredeemable. They're thieves, rapists, murderers, like the Joker. That's the problem with fighting for truth and justice. The battle never ends. And executing them will end it? First Joker, now this. When does it stop? When there's no more crime. When people can live without fear. We want the same thing, Bruce. I wanted to kill my parents' murderer. I could have. But that's not the life they wanted for me. And it's not the life Lois would want for you. Don't you put that on me. A red solar grenade. To dull your powers, you need to stop. Take time to grieve before it's too late. You wouldn't. No! You're supposed to be my friend. Which is why I have to stop you. Sorry, Clark. Get away from me. Look who I found. Victor Sass. Psychopath. How many women have you killed? <laughs> hundred... Twenty-one. A hundred and twenty-one. Huh. Sounds incorrigible to me. Robin, let him go! You'd rather fight your friends than the real problem. I'm warning you, son. Son? You didn't raise me. The League of Assassins did. <laughs> Problem solved. Who's next? Damn it, Damien! This is a line we do not cross. <laughs> then stay on your side, Batman. I'll be on Superman.
I... I never meant to. You coward. We are at war with these animals. You think you're better than him? You let the Joker keep on killing. You couldn't save Lois or Jason or anyone! That's enough. Let's go. But the inmates... Not today. Since the regime fell. Superman's behind bars. Damien, my own son, is there with him. But we can't ever forget why we put them there. We must stay vigilant. I thought your goal was to reassure people, Mr. Wayne. You're not alone in rebuilding Gotham and Metropolis. But if we don't change the mind soon... Thought that's why you hired that overpaid PR firm, Lucius. Convincing folks to move back to these cities is a lot harder when they're afraid someone's gonna knock them down again. Superman's never getting out. I made that clear. But Wonder Woman, Black Adam, Aquaman, they're still out there somewhere. And seemingly immune to prosecution. I know you built Brother Eye to keep tabs on all those loose ends, but the public doesn't know. Brother Eye's secrecy is critical. Our enemies can't fight something they don't know exists. Well then at least follow one bit of advice we paid those PR people so much money for. What's that? Be a little less Batman, a little more billionaire playboy. Get out around town in the daylight and smile. Focus groups show people feel safer when they see you smile. Hmm. That would be your other job. Bruce, consider widening your circle of trust. Nobody wins all by themselves. Not even you. As a reception area, this place needs a lot of work. Dinah, Oliver, thanks for coming on short notice. <laughs> You're lucky we found a sitter. My great-grandfather built the original Gotham Underground. But these days, it's the Batcave. And this is Brother Eye. More like the Eye of Sauron. Surveillance hub? More than that, a communications hub linking every satellite and server on the planet. It warns us when trouble's coming and guides us when trouble's here. Must take a real genius to operate. I don't know about genius, but I do got a PhD. Dinah, Dinah's hobby. You sure came a long way. A world away, but the change of scenery is nice. I was surprised you called, Bruce. Things seem to be going well. So, what's up? Dismantling the regime created gaps in global security. We're covering them where we can, but we're stretched thin, vulnerable. Harleen, show them what you found. Yes. Gorilla Grodd, everyone's favorite talking ape. He's got himself a band of bozos. Calls them the society. My mole in Gorilla City says Grodd's planning something big. But what, where, when, we don't know. One thing we do know, Scarecrow's gonna ship Grodd a buttload of fear gas from a hideout in Slaughter Swamp. Very mosquito-y. Good thing I packed my bug spray. I need you three to stop that gas before it gets to Grodd. Not joining us for the party? Unfortunately, I can't leave Gotham without worrying the public. Don't worry, Bats. With this crew on the job, what could go wrong? I know I'm the new guy, but you really trust Harley? 
She's a diversion since Joker died. Mostly. Can they move any faster? They don't need Grodd taking my head off because your boys are too slow. Fear not, Deadshot. We'll be ready for tomorrow's attack. Tomorrow? Cheeky monkey. Fancy meeting you here. Keep them moving. I'll see what that's about. Red! I ain't seen you in forever! You here to take down these punks? Quite a catch, Ivy. Red? You're with them? Your man, Bruce, was supposed to better care for the green. All he's done is remodel the concrete jungles of Gotham and Metropolis. Where I sit, there's not much difference between him and Superman. Ugh. You're a few cones short of a pine if you think your new friends care about the green. Grodd will keep his promises, or he'll be my next victim. Oh, Red, why are you making me do this? Let me get you out of here, girl. We could team up again. Drive all the boys crazy, you know, like the old days. The old days were fun. But these days, I'm all business.
superhero. Lopping in the back cave. But you hear it, don't you? Hear what? The real you, buried under the floorboards. Scratch, scratch, scratching to get out. The one who cut her friend's throats. And laugh about it. Disappointment. Why do I bother? Ain't no slick fella with a cheap suit and cheap a grin telling me who I am ever again. We had mad love once upon a time, but now that's over, Mr. J. <laughs> 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 Mama always said I had a black thumb. Now you ready to be all ears? 
It's scarecrow and his goons you want. They're mixing toxic gas right in your backyard. We came to stop them. I see. Listening. If someone saw you. How many times have we told you? It's too dangerous outside Kondok. I spent decades lost in space, stuck in hypersleep until Adam found my ship. And now I'm cooped up here. How can we make you more comfortable? Let me out. Diana, you've taught me what my powers can do. This world needs help. Earth's people are so divided, they're always fighting. That's the world without Kal-El. Batman has eyes everywhere. He can't know about you before we're ready. I'm not afraid of some guy in a mask! Ugh! I can bend steel with my bare hands! So could your cousin. Well... Well, what good are these powers if I can't even help Kal-El? We will, Kara. Just like you and I freed Diana from Themyscira. The time will come. We'll save Kal-El and Batman will answer to us. Our best chance to stop Grodd is a preemptive strike. Sounds more military than vigilante. You try calling the army? There is no army, not yet. To break up the regime, we had to start from the ground up. So, what? Us three extradite Grodd from under his entire guerrilla army. Grodd's their alpha. Take him down, and the others will submit. But be wary of running into other members of his society. They're more coordinated than we knew. Next stop, Gorilla City. Guess I better call the sitter. Mommy and Daddy are coming home late. If this is more than you and Ollie are comfortable with, Dinah, I'll have Blue Beetle and Firestorm take over. No, we can do this. You've been out of the fight a long time. You have a family. Your family too, Bruce. I couldn't be there to finish the fight against Superman. I'm damn sure finishing this one. hours we break the yoke of oppression forever no more regime no more justice league today the world welcomes its new masters the society Show the world that we are superior! Today, we bring 
anyone who would dare stand against us. To their knees! Low self-esteem, not that guy's problem. That's a lot more than a few society members. It's all of them. They're headed indoors, out of sight from the soldiers. Harley, keep the jet warm. When we signal, bail us out. Laid it on a little thick, Grodd. You hire Superman's speechwriter? Soldiers must be properly motivated to sacrifice their lives, Catwoman. Hate is the perennial motivator. Better not turn that hate on us, or this society is over. As long as we have a common agenda, Captain Cold, you have nothing to fear. You mean as long as we follow your orders? Report, Deadshot. We're ready to move out. Good dog. Now go tell the others. Cheetah, Cold, you're with the first wave. We already lost the shipment at Slaughter Swamp. Hope your silent partner can still deliver. Maybe it's time you spilled the identity of our silent partner, since we're relying so much on him, or her. He will soon make his presence known, but for now... First, a few words from the brave and the bold. <laughs> I'm the brave one, right? I'm not bold enough to disagree. The saboteurs of Slaughter Swamp, I presume. <laughs> Handle this. I call first dibs. A traitor again, Selena? I don't know why Bruce ever trusted you. I've got nine lives, Dinah. I'm only a traitor in most of them. much for nine lives. Oh, that was graceful, Ollie. <sighs> One of us needs to distract him while the other snips his tubes. Ouch. His venom tubes, Ollie? <laughs> How kind of Batman, sending his underlings. I will enjoy returning you to him in body bags. I'll distract him, you take Smithy. Your spine will break like this. Now you've done it. That was my favorite arrow.
take a selfie? Twice a widow. Quiver's not empty yet. that damn dirty ape. I come to you as darkness falls. Dr. Fate? Dinah Lance, Oliver Queen. In the past, I have shielded you from danger, but a grave crisis looms. And I do not know if I can stop it. You mean Grodd and company? We've got that covered. Grodd is the pawn of a much greater master. A new order is coming. I have foreseen it. Leave with me now, while I can still save you. If that's the case, we're staying here. Batman will need our help. Everyone and everything you know will die. I will shepherd you to safety, lest you suffer the same fate. By force, if necessary. The good doctor's been wearing that helm for too long. Then let's help him out of it. Watch my back. He should not have returned to Batman. You are not fated to fight his battle. Well, like a good friend once told me. Screw fate. <laughs> I'm not abandoning Batman. <clears throat> Kent, you okay? Your headgear really had you going. I lost control of Naboo, the spirit of the helm. Thanks to you, I'm back in charge, for now. I have to go consult my masters, the Lords of Order. Pray they'll intervene before it's too late. Too late for what, Kent? What's going down? The Lord's magic bars me from saying more. I have changed fate too many times. This planet's destiny is no longer clear. What comes next? Mere mortals cannot stop. For better or worse, your fate rests in the gods' hands.
That was... spooky. Yeah. Come on, let's find Grodd and get the hell out of here. You've overstayed your welcome. We're happy to check out, but you're coming with us. Fighting a talking ape wasn't enough. Had to throw him. Give us a song to soothe these savage beasts. Ah, uh, I forgot to bring my banana arrow. Wait, you eat bananas, right? Or is that an offensive stereotype? You ate a fool. I was just trying to be PC. Surprise that worked. Let's call it a day and get Harley out of here. <laughs> it's never good when you slap the cuffs on and then they start chuckling. Humans. <laughs> you've won this battle, but you've already lost the war. I got nothing. Your victory over Gorilla Grodd warrants further study. Green skin. Smart money's on alien. A uh, Martian? Like John Johns? My point of origin was a thousand light years removed from Mars on the planet Kolu. I am... Brainiac. Resistance begets violence. Then we won't resist. Please, just stop! You're the grave crisis we were warned about. What do you want? I seek the one you call Superman. For years, I believed I had destroyed Krypton and all its remnants. Superman's survival is an oversight I must correct. 
Superman's no friend of ours. I am aware. But your planet has also piqued my interest. Its many contradictions are fascinating. We'll never serve you. Serve? I am no petty despot. I collect worlds, preserving their essential knowledge to enhance my intellect. And then I discard the remnants. Why? Your species values precious metals, arbitrary symbols of status. I value knowledge. And like your metal trinkets, knowledge is more valuable when it is rare. Brother I, give me an update on the team at Gorilla City. I cannot do that, Bruce Wayne of Earth. Why not? Because I am not Brother I. I am Brainiac. You cannot regain control. Over the past days, Brother I has been absorbed into my neural network. It is now an extension of my mind. You, a fragile human, captured and imprisoned a fully developed male Kryptonian. Maybe I'm not so fragile. To prevail, you harnessed advanced sciences, nanotechnology, satellite communications, interdimensional transits. I am taking these tools from you. Why? The Kryptonian belongs to me. And soon, so will your planet. the suit. Am I in trouble again? Brainiac, what can you tell me? How do you know that name? You're afraid of him. He's invading. He says you belong to him. Brainiac killed my parents. He blew up Krypton. 
You never mentioned that before. How do I beat him? You can't. Not without me. I'll find a way. This is my fight, Bruce! You need me! Bruce! Bruce! Need a hand, Dr. Randall? I don't know, Barry. Sat links out. Internet and phone are down. Maybe this old ham can help us. You fitting in okay? People treating you well? Let's just say people here aren't thrilled to live in close quarters with the Flash. Convicted regime criminal. Pardoned regime criminal. Give it time. They'll come around. LW base. Are you there? LW base. How fast can you get to Metropolis? My pardon agreement was pretty clear on no powers. You think that matters when aliens are invading? You helped tear down the regime, Barry. That's why Mr. Wayne asked me to take you on. And if Batman thinks you earned a second chance, who are you to argue? Allen has returned to action. The task force is ready. I'll enjoy this. When Superman went nuts and you went right along with him. Punish me later. We have to help these innocent people. The same innocent people who cheered Superman when he executed my friends? My sister? I'm sorry, Cold. But you never hurt civilians. You're better than that. Once upon a time, I was.
Guess we both let each other down. you as Bruce's mole. For all the good it did. Grodd never trusted me enough to share the whole alien invasion plan. We gotta help Dinah and Ollie. We will. First, we need to get back to Gotham, if there's anything left of it. Retirement will do that to you. <laughs> What's with you, Lawton? You should be fighting this invasion. <clears throat> Got no choice. Grod put a nano explosive in my head. His paws on the trigger. <laughs> <sighs> Like it or not, I gotta do Grant's dirty work. Just business. Grodd said you couldn't resist a good crisis. Eobard Thawn? You don't belong here. And miss the return of Barry Allen? to hurt you, Barry. But this timeline, it's all wrong. 
So go back to your own time, Reverse Flash. You think I haven't tried? Your regime buddies killed one of my ancestors. Now I'm trapped in a paradox. I can never go home. At least I can hurt you! there at the beginning, Flash. Then your race ends here. Take. Guess I could come back later. How? No, not today. Nice to see you too, Barry. Whose dead hand you pry that ring from? You know it doesn't work that way. The ring chose me. Even after you bailed on the Guardians to join the Sinestro Corps? The Guardians locked me up. But they also trained me to overcome my fears. I earned the second chance they gave me. The Guardians made a mistake. you. I'm trying to make things right. I betrayed my core, my planet, and my friends. And that's the worst part. All day I've been reminded how I failed to be a hero. How hard it's gonna be to regain people's trust. Yes, we're both on that path. We have a long way to go, Barry. It'd be a lot easier if we were together. We need help, don't we? Not his. You gave me a second chance. Because you got your head straight and helped take down Clark. If he was still in charge, he'd still be wearing yellow. I'm not that guy anymore. Look, I get why you don't trust me. But you should trust the Guardians. This ring means something. They put me through hell to get it back. Fine. I've got my orders. Just thought it'd help if we cooperate. Lantern. Maybe it's time I widened my circle of trust. What can I do? You're going to Atlantis. Our circle of trust needs Aquaman and his marines. You think he'll help? 
He's been off radar since the regime fell. Um, he didn't like getting roped into the regime by Superman. He sure won't be happy to see me. Get used to that. <laughs>